Hey everybody, welcome back to Kill by Daylight. The new mid chapter is here with all those juicy, juicy meta changes for both killer and survivor. Spoilers, I I like all of it. I like I like all of it. From somebody who plays both killer and survivor. I I, I dig the gen regression changes as well as the, the self-healing changes. I, I dig it all. I really, really dig it. There's some problems of what the meta could shift to, but you know what? Time will tell. Time will tell. But uh, today we're gonna be testing out the new med changes, the new self-heal changes. I actually did record another intro for this, but it's gonna be scrapped because I think I talked for like seven minutes. Uh, uh, it was basically just me just explaining what we were using before. Like, it was recorded before the chapter came out, or the mid chapter came out. But it's basically, here's what I used to use. And I was going to compare that to what I use now. But I'm pleasantly surprised to see that uh, it's not that drastic. The TLDR is... Uh, I Well, let's just look at the build. TLDR is, I used to run first aid kit and bandage. I thought we were changing everything. I thought everything was changing, by the way. So that even that intro was like moot at this point. First aid kit, 24 charges. Every med kit now has 24 charges, so that doesn't even matter. The only thing that's changing between them is how much you heal others by. Like, uh, the brown med kit is 35%, first aid kit's 40%, uh, 45 for the emergency one, and the range of med kit is 50. I'm sure, like, the other ones that I don't have unlocked are, like, somewhere in that range, right? But I used to run this because 24 charges, a full heal requires 16 charges, 24 plus 8, basic math is 32. Divide that by two, it's 16, so you get two full heals. I forgot who said it once, but in some video, some someone said like, oh yeah, if you need more than two heals, then you probably shouldn't be walking out of the trial alive. And that's very good advice. Uh, if you if you need to heal more than two times, mm, you're probably, you've probably been hooked twice, and the next one is death. So, you probably don't need to be healed more than two times. I thought this was drastically changing. I think I gaslit myself into believing that a full heal was going to require 24 charges. That's why they were upping every med kit to 24 charges. I think they said that at 1.2, but I don't know. This is a Mandela effect, I feel like. Um, but I was like, oh, what's it going to be? I was like, oh man, to get two full heals out of a med kit. Yeah, you'd be able to run the camping aid kit, but now they're nerfing all the add-ons, so gauze roll was formerly 10 charge or 12 charges is now 10 as well as the gel dressing they said they were nerfing down to 14 so I was like oh man you're gonna need 24 charges to get one heal so you're gonna need to combine gauze roll for 10 gel dressings which is now an iridescent rarity after falling from grace as being a, a, a rare a green rarity gauze roll used to be a yellow chaos is ensuing Abdominal dressing used to be a green, now is a purple, but they took away the the, the charge penalty from it. Now it just heals uh, increased by 15%. Madness. Madness, I say. So I thought everything was going to get more expensive, but no. You still need 32 for two heals. So legitimately, bandages, or actually more better yet, self-adherent wrap for an extra heal speed, and the skizzers. I think this is pretty much the healing setup. If you if you want to run a healing like a med kit, camping aid kit, which is very 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 common in, in the blood web, so that's good. And then un, two uncommon add-ons, which I don't have a lot of, but I've I've I've, I've burned them a lot. <laughs> it, it, they I've I used to have a ton, but then then they got burnt. Uh, but I could have sworn they said, oh, you're not gonna you're gonna have to do a lot just to get two full heals out of a med kit. That's why I was like, oh, 24 charges is required for a full heal. That's why you're going to have to run an iridescent and a green. No, you can, I could still technically just run this and get three heals. 24 charges plus the eight. That's 32. And then you throw another 16 on it. That's three full char full heals. I don't know what the hell they changed. I know everything is like consumed quicker, right? Decrease the speed and efficiency when healing yourself by 33%. That's a bit of a problem, but I feel like this build, which is the build I used to run when I needed a healing build, uh, I feel like this build is like counteracts it pretty much. We got built to last, we got streetwise, we got adrenaline and distortion. Hey, everybody, 
start using distortion because I feel like that's where the meta is going for killers is just aura reading and this counters every single aura reading perk and add-on you might want to get used to running distortion in every match I love it just because it counters so much and even if you don't get value out of it eh, there's that there's a high likelihood that you're gonna get value out of it adrenaline is still the best exhaustion perk bar none and heals you instantly one health state and you get a sprint burst for five seconds after the exit gates are powered last gen pops or the hatch closes boom one health state sprint burst oh and by the way it ignores uh, the exhausted status effect so you can use this along with sprint burst get sprint burst going and then that last gen pops boom adrenaline kicks in sprint burst for another five seconds it's dumb streetwise yeah, I think is the big player going forward for healing builds. Reduce the uh, consumption rate of item charge by 25%. If that kind of kind of not completely counterbalances the efficiency nerf to med kits, but 25% slower. That's only what 8% efficiency loss. So yeah we'll see how it works uh also built the last is, is dumb it's broken it's super good everybody when felix released was like oh my god he's so hot look at his abs i'm like sure cool that's great hey built to last is the game changer here yeah your item is depleted oops jump in a lock for 12 seconds and it's recharged done simple as that this build this build these two items I th these two items perks are going to be like I feel like they should be used, I feel like Built to Last and Distortion should be used a lot more. Them and Vigil, but everybody's sleeping on them. I don't know why. And also Streetwise could ab absolutely be uh, swapped out for... How do letters work? Oh god, how do letters work? How do perks look? Desperate Measures. It's not that countering as streetwise is but for each injured hooked or dying survivor it increases your speed of healing and unhook actions by 14% so if three people are injured then yeah you counter uh, counteract the the, the the speed decrease in self healing uh, I don't think it's as good as it used to be I don't think it's as good as, as good as it used to be just run streetwise and built to last eerie of crews Kinda of hoping to get the the new rework maps. This will do. This will do. Oh, look at that! Getting fucking value already out of distortion. So they have lethal. If I were on comms, I could be like lethal. Watch it. They've got lethal split up or whatever. Our teammates went that way. So the dungeon. That's what we do. There's another gen over there. So, that's fine. Also, because a token was used, we just have to sit in the terror radius of the killer for 30 seconds, I believe, to get a token back. When we are inside that terror radius, we will know because that nice little icon will light up and start filling up again, letting us know we're gaining token stacks. It works. It works. It works. So good. I don't know why people don't use it. I do not know. Like, is it the best perk in the world? No. It is a very niche perk, I think. But... I, I, I It's a good utility perk. If you're like, I got my build, but I need one more perk. I got three out, three out of the four. I need one more. Run Distortion, man. You got killers who are going to run... Stop running gen, uh, gen regression because, oops, they hit that really, really hard. Like, Overcharge, I don't think, deserved it, but they brought it more in line with Brine, so... I don't, th I don't think it deserved, like, that big of a hit that it took. But I think people are going to stop running at, as many as they did. I think, I think we'll see a lot of aura reading because now the game is more chase-oriented. Boom. Hey, I completed a challenge. Look at that shiz. But the game is becoming more chase-oriented. What's that noise? Is that a chainsaw? It is a chainsaw. That sounds like a booba. 
No, it's a Billy. There he goes. Thank God they reverted his nurse, man. Holy shiz. We were in the radius for a little bit there. Give me an eye on distortion. See if, like, he's coming closer. But I'm glad they reverted those changes. Man, Billy... D stop, stop hitting Billy. Remove the, over uh, the overheat mechanic. Yes? Hello? Should I be... There he is. Hello, Billy. Sir? There he goes again. Oh, there he is. This is a bad way to run this. This is a... Fucking terrible way to run that. Oh, Jesus Christ! Hi, Billy. Yes? I don't know why you're nodding at me. I, I have no idea why you're like, yes! You curved the blade. You curved it. This does nothing. This wiggle meter does nothing anymore. Hi, right, Billy. There's Dweedimus. No, that's not Dweedimus, that's Felix. I was talking about your abs before. I was talking about your abs. How do you feel about that? I talked about your abs. All right, well. We are uh, damaged, let's see how this does. They said they didn't, they, they didn't touch the speed. But now that bar is bright red, instead of being, like, the yellow that it was. This should give us two heals, question mark? Felix, hello. Nope, oh, where is he? I thought I heard E- What are you doing, Cheryl? Cheryl? There we go. Prove thyself. Three of us are working on one gen and Dweet's- I don't know where Dweet is. Okay. Oh, I want to pet the birdie. Don't know where the killer is, don't know where the Dweet is. And our buddy's got aftercare on. There's the Dweet. I found him. Not the way we wanted to find him, but we found him. Not, oh, there is a gen here. It's already done. Never mind. I was going to question, hey, where's that gen? Where are you? Where ye be? Felix taking hits. Dwight got off. Gross. All right. So I do have a challenge to heal other survivors. Altruistic healing is buffed. Self-healing is nerfed. So, I, I, I think it's good. I think it's good for the, the health of the game. Right? Going more chase-oriented. That's the fun part of the game, right? Interacting with the other side. Killer chasing survivor. Survivor being chased by killer. I say as I'm sitting on a chen not seeking out the insta-down killer. A boon? Circle healing, maybe. That's dead. Thank the lord it's dead. Uh, apparently it does buff uh, pickups. Picking up slugs. But that's f that's fine. It, it goes towards the altruistic thing. Like, if you're s a survivor... Dead man's... Not dead man. Deadlock. Um, he's got barbecue. Doth got barbecue. He knows this one is now the one. He knows this is this this is the gen. He's over there. I'm gonna go get Dwight. Go get the Dwight. I thought he would actually beeline over to that gen because that's the one that got blocked and you can see that as a killer. 
Three. But bye. That's a come come come. come? No, all right. Okie dokie. I mean, I hope y'all got adrenaline or some shit. Barbecue again. So he's got barbecue and he's got lethal, which is a good combo, because lethal buffs that. He must be confused as hell why he can't see my aura. There she is. Hey, you got adrenaline? You do have adrenaline. I mean, somebody should go get that boy now. He's coming over here. Okay, go out. Where? She's over there. Well, 99 this, and if need be, we'll go, go make the rescue. They can see it on the hut. Guys, okay, that's a pickup. The fact that he's picking up now. Maybe means he doesn't have Blood Warden. He's, he's, I was gonna say, he's going a far way for that hook. He was going a long way for that hook. Okay, what are we do, what are we doing here? I was gonna say, he's, I don't know if he was like waiting for him to die. The gate, that gate over there. Okay, Dweet's over here getting this rescue. Gonna charge back this way. Hi, bud. There he is. Found him. I was like, where is he going? Oh, tell me they both ran. No, okay, they didn't go to the gate. I was like, they're both running to the gate, aren't they? They are both running to the gate. The wiggle meter does nothing. Oh, he's gonna open the gate. He's gonna open the gate and leave. Yep, there you go, Dwight. I know he's an instant down killer, but you guys can actually- Dwight's- I love solo queue. It's so good. It totally doesn't need more of a buff. Oh, Dwight. Baby, do we- You could have healed the Felix and then come got us? I understand he's an instant down killer, but come on, man. Hey, we completed a challenge, so thumbs up to that. Blood points! Bloints. How'd we do? One pip? Boo. Oh no, we lost our item and we leveled up. Yeah, barbecue deadlock, corrupt. Didn't notice corrupt and lethal. All right, and of course the doom, the doom and death. All right. I was like, well, I've uh, the scene if they were like changed. Uh, circle healing, nerf to the ground, aftercare, prove thyself and left behind, okay. Leader, visionary, dead hard, bond. Fine chill, self-aware, sprint burst, adrenaline, those are three good combos. Alright. Alright. Healing didn't feel too bad, there was a- I wish it wasn't an, inst an insta-down killer. Anybody but Billy. Because- it felt like we might not have been able to get a, a second heal out of that med kit. That's what I was feeling like. We got awfully close to below half on that. Uh, mm, I know they were, they, again, they did say like, oh, you're gonna have to really pack in those add-ons if you want to get two full heals. I'm like, mm, I don't know if that's how you should do it. I don't know. I don't know if that's how... I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know. The, I'm, I'm still like... 
Because they didn't add an add-on that was like, oh yeah, it reduces the consumption. Right? A lot of these, like, the needle and thread, and the sponge, and the gloves, and like, this other stuff about increasing skill check, uh, bonuses and stuff, I feel like could have been changed, like, oh yeah, hitting a skill check reduces consumption rate, or some, something like that, right? Even though they, like, buffed the syringe and the styptic, didn't they? Why are you a different color? Did I put- did I not put on a challenge? Well, whatever. I- I, I wish it wasn't an- uh, wasn't an insta-down killer. Just to- Just to kind of test if that was going to be able to heal for two. So there's that. Um... I feel like this build will just still work. I feel like it'll still work. If you're not facing an insta-killer like Billy or Bubba or Ghostface or something like that. I feel like this will still work. Uh... This was gonna be the meme one we use. <laughs> if- if everything was too expensive, like... Like I- I, I said. Like, oh yeah, hell yeah, time to get that reactive healing resurgence build. Cause they kind of work together. Kind of, right? If you're unhooked, already 50% of your healing progress is, is already done. You're already healed halfway. And then reactive healing, if a survivor loses a health state within 32 meters of you, while you're injured, it inc inc instantly increases your healing progression by 50% of the missing he healing progression. So it kind of not, not heals you fully, but you'd be 75%. Eh. Uh, I think this is the build going forward. I think this is just an all-around build that we're going to try out right now. Toolbox, basic add-ons increase the repair speed by 50%. Built to last and streetwise. Distortion. And inner healing. This is going to be our healing perk. And it has synergy with built to last. So we find a totem, cleanse it. If we're injured, we can hop into a lock for 8 seconds, boom, we're instantly healed. So, we're gonna be trying this build out. I think it- I think it's gonna be the go-to. Why? I wanna test out the new maps! Crew. Cool. Alright. Kate! Get ladies for- nothing in there. Both of us went, mm, that's bad. Uh... No lethal. Which is nice. Sit on the- sit on this. This toolbox with this build should get us halfway or- or a good chunk of the way through. Like... Oh, that's a Huntress. There she was. This is- oh, Don't do it, lady! Lady, I'm not here. Not anymore! Okay, don't come this way. Please don't come this way. So, what are the odds, Iron Maiden? Damn. I'm not here! No, I'm not here. Stop it. Go away. There's no pallet there. That's... I don't like that. Lady, put the hatchet down, please. Holy shiza. So, what are the odds? Iron Maiden. I? Pretty high, I think. I'd like to find a totem. Like to cleanse the totes. That's not a totem, that's just a skull. Cleanse the totem so we can actually have our healing whenever we kind of want it. And then we can actually sit down and do a gen properly. Problem is... Oh! Finding a totem. That's the... What hex are we under? Hold on. I missed something here. Are we under a hex? It's not Thrill of the Hunt, because this is going the normal speed. She's down. Okay, we have our healing. We have our healing. I'm gonna go in this for 12 seconds. We will get most of our charges back on our toolbox. It's 
it's a bit, it's a time. It's a bit of time. Also, we'll, time to experiment. No Iron Maiden. No Iron Maiden. Hello, bud. Let's sit on this gen together with toolboxes. This is kind of what I fear. Being the meta going forward is just everybody running toolboxes, just gen rushing. You don't, why bother healing? Just bring a toolbox, bring brand new part. Go to town. Just, just, just uh, rush those gens. I hear you. But then again, that's nothing special. There's a, there's a real nice clean line of sight from that way. She just turns that corner and is like, oh, there's a Jeff. No, she's right there. Never mind. But you should have took the shot way earlier. Huh? Oh, God. Jesus. Nope. Take the one way. Oh, hell yeah. She chased me for 30 seconds. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now I just hide and I get my friggin' toolbox back. This works for every item in the game, by the way. Med kit, toolbox, uh, flashlight. If you're running a key or a map for some unknown reason. Yeah, it works for that too. Where's she going? She kind of just ran away. It was weird. But like, it works for everything. There she is. I would like you to chase me, actually. Can you chase me? That is my my big thing, is like, I'm not the greatest at l chases, at looping. I'm scratching my head. Thank you. I'm on this gen. You see me. Let's, let's tussle. I, Lisa, go away. Lisa, I'm trying to get her away from you. Lisa. You're tearing me apart. Oh, you've got that that the the, the the perk. You're not running proof thyself though. The uh, what the hell is that perk called? Sheesh. Sheesh. Whatever the hell that. Where are you going, bud? Just gonna get a get out of way from the doorway. Yeah, that's smart. That's probably the smart thing. She's here. Where is she? Bug bunny lady, where are you? Hey! Come chase me! Leave her alone! Break chase! Come chase me! Oh no! It's me! I'm out in the open! Oh no! Where? There you are! Come chase me! Doorway! You broke the door open, so I didn't need to take the vault. Oh my god, my buttocks. You know what I hate? The basement's here, too. That's what I hate the most about this interaction. Uh, she doesn't see it. Unless my eyes were going cr Oh, she's got fucking Iron Grasp or Agi. Or maybe both. That's Iron Grasp, though. I don't know why the bar still... Still, like... Lights up red. There's no reason for the bar to light up red because your wiggling does nothing. That does, that means nothing at this point. Where's our other? There he is. Like, where's our other teammate? There he is. Hello. Leave me be. Give me eight seconds. And then an additional four. If I had head on, that'd be so great. I absolutely love head on. Toolbox is back, kinda. That is like the only like downside of that part. I thought I saw a totem over here. I was gonna we're gonna reload the heal. You kick this one. How dare you? Great skill checks. I'm hitting them really consistently today. I don't know why. All of a sudden, no idea. It's chasing Lisa still. She really wants Lisa. 
That's weird. I would like to find another totem. Just in case he's. Right? That's the only kind of crux of the build. Like, you have on demand full heal. Kind of. You gotta find a totem, and like, totems are very limited in the map. So that's kind of the one. The one. One downside of the park. There's usually one in. Shack, but it's replaced by vases. Hey, you got her. Where is she? Over there. Okay. You fell off like a two foot drop, bud. Not that bad. Calm down. I would just like. Totem. Dole totem. Hex totem. I don't know what hex we're under. No, f no clue. What, what hex we are under. This is where we found the other one, so that's not there. Eh. Eh. We'll go get the save, I guess. Oh, no, never mind, totem. The totem takes precedent. And then we will go to get the save. She's only on first hook. Well, she's saved now. So there's that. She is near. We have our healing. And sweet, sweet blood points to go with it, might I add. Sit on this gen. We'll do gens. Budget. I was looking away from the screen. Still chasing Lisa. Unless she got distracted by my distraction. Which is... I don't even know which way you could come from. She's walking away, it sounds like. So I'll trust that she's walking away. Lisa is doing a totem. Actively taking away one of our heals. How dare you. Oh, she found the hex, whatever it was. Hello, bud. Should I be worried that you brought her... Over here? Oh, everybody's here. Do y'all want heals? Is this what solo queue is gonna be from now on? Like, oh, injured teammates coming up to you being like, mm, uh, no, I don't wanna heal. Then running away because they can't sit on the generator. You wanna heal? Heal? I'll heal you. Like, I'll. I'll sit here and heal you. Lol JK, unless she's like right here. Bazinga. It sounded like she was getting real close for a minute. Alright. Girl, let's, you wanna sit up? No, alright, he's gone. I was like, alright, yeah, let's co-op. Let's sit on this gen. I need that for a daily. No, he's just gone. He left. He just left me. Oh, there she is. Your eyes give it away, by the way. Those cosmetics, while looking neat, they don't look not the best ones, but I guess if you, that's like all you got, that's all you got. They give you away from miles. Miles upon miles away. You're better off just running a default head instead of the, the frosty eyes. Because I, like, if she wasn't running that, I might not have seen her completely. Hello, Lisa. You want heal? I will heal you. I will heal you! Although the daily is like, heal like, total equivalent or some shit like that. Not like, heal, just heal three people. She's dead. She hath died. Oh, you have proved thyself. That, that's the good good. Oh, that's weird. I didn't, like, why is she not picking up? Got a little concerned for a minute that she had a different plan. Sounds like she's getting closer. Basement. And that's that gen done. 
Does she camp basement? Or does she have territorial? Fly, I'm in danger. That's a gate. Why the gate's so ornate? I didn't mean to rhyme. Hello. You're right, I wasn't looking behind me. Hey, look at that Noed! Look at fucking Noed right there! It's just fucking Noed. It's Noed. It's fucking Noed. It's Noed! It's gonna be in my butt. Although, no, it's not glowing. Like, I don't see its aura. Bye. Hey, guys, you better get that fucking exit gate open ASAP. Holy shit, you better open it. If she's gonna... There it is. I knew it! I'm stuck on a rock. I know what it was. Yeah, it's right there. I know. That's fun. Hello? Hi. Quinto! Quinto! Boom, I got it. Let's... Let's poke each other's chests. Oh, she got out? What? What is happening here? Oh, she got out. Okay. No way. Quentin, wait up! Wait for me, Jesus Christ. All right. That's when she reveals she has iridescent uh, hatchet as well. Hits me in the back of the skull, dead instantly. Hey, we did co-op. We did co-op things. Neat. Blood points! Emblems that don't mean anything. Yeah, oh, she had agitation and iron grass. Yeah. Hunter's Lullaby and Noed. Okay. Haft. Loop. Not bad choice of add-ons, I'll say that much. Uh, Lisa. Desperate measures, tenacity, bond, and prove thyself. Ranger med kit. She was look. She was going in on the self healing, or not self healing, but uh, maybe healing others. Bond. I. Mm, I don't know if bond is the one you want to go with. You probably go with uh. Empathy. See injured people, but I guess you just want to see the people around you. Bond. Yeah. Desperate measures. Me. Life. Technician, kindred, and situational awareness. I was I was thinking of situational awareness, but it didn't want to sound dumb. Yeah, the only thing I would take out is technician, and go with uh, prove thyself. Kate went for the added achievement, and she got it. She got out. Salty lips, though. But I feel like luck needs a big rework. It needs a massive overhaul. Yeah, that's a uh, that's that build. It's like I said, it's not just good for med kits. You could use any item you want on it. But uh, yeah, built to last and streetwise. Like obviously, if we were using a med kit, we get a lot more value out of built to last. That refills it 99, and then it refills it to 66% of the charges, and that's at least one more heal out of that one. 33%, you're not gonna get mm, anything out of it, really. But, uh, yeah. The healing didn't feel too bad. Okay, so there was gonna be a third game here, sort of a bonus game, because uh, I think we could all agree that first game really didn't get to test out the new healing changes. We got insta down by Billy twice. Not really able to kind of figure things out from there. So I decided, you know what, let's record one more game. And one more game became, let's do another one, because that one was Sloppy Butcher. And do another one, that was Sloppy Butcher. And two hours later, nothing to show for it, because every killer brought Sloppy Butcher. It's a menace, and I feel like it's going to be a menace forever. 
So there's that. I did get one game, but it wasn't the most interesting thing to watch, so I'm not going to bore you with it. Uh, it was a Huntress on Groaning Storehouse. We had a Claudette and another Claudette. One of the Claudettes DC'd about 20 seconds into the match after they got downed. It wasn't Eerie Hatchet. It wasn't anything like that. They just got downed and then DC'd. And everything was uphill from there. I did get hit and escaped chase and was able to heal. And yes, it does seem like even with Streetwise, you get left with about 35 to 40% of your charges left. Not enough to heal yourself again fully. I got, I feel myself fully, got hit again, escaped again, and lo and behold, didn't have enough charges to full heal. Got up to maybe 60, 70-ish percent healed. Not enough. We had to jump into a locker to use build to last and then heal ourselves fully from there. And at that point, is it really worth it? Because I think the card tells you what you need to know. 24 charges, a full heal is 16 charges, but self-healing decreases the speed and efficiency by 33%. I think you need to add both bandages and self-adherent wrap, or maybe even gauze roll to get extra charges so that 33% efficiency de decrease is kind of offset even with streetwise. And then again, at that point, is it really worth dedicating an item, two add-ons, and two perks to just heal yourself twice? I don't think so. You're going to have to rely on your fellow survivors, which, hey, I think that's what they were going with. Less solo healing, more co-op healing, and things kind of balance, it, balance itself out. So I'm fine with that. I'm probably not going to be bringing a med kit in if I'm looking to self-heal. If I'm looking to heal others, yeah, I'll probably run ranger med kit with maybe uh, gel dressing and ab dressing just to get increased heal speed as well as uh, more charges to heal others because this increases uh, heal speed by 50% when you're healing somebody else and we'll probably bring in probably uh, not bond the other one what's the other one how to how to how to spelling work the public school system has failed me where is it E where the fart is E here it is empathy Bring in empathy so we can see everybody else and maybe even bring in uh bite the bullet so there's no noises i i think or maybe better than new might actually be a big pick right he completed healing action on the survivor that other survivor gets a 16 percent speed bonus to healing opening chests cleansing and blessing that might actually be a go-to. Heal somebody else really quickly with a med kit, and then they heal you even faster. I think that might be the play. But uh, I don't see myself bringing in a med kit to heal myself anymore. I think I could just bring in a, a toolbox to do gens quicker, or a flashlight to interact with the killer, or a map or a key to be useless to the team. You know, just the normal survivor stuff. Um, I will say in that two hours of playing against Sloppy Butcher, Distortion proct about nine out of ten times. Barbecue and Chili, Lethal Pursuer, or some other aura reading add-on or perk. So Distortion is a go-to pick, I think. Um, but yeah, I think... I think the healing changes are good. Like, I don't feel the need to bring in a med kit because it's gonna waste time. I'm, I'm wasting time now, I feel like. I'm only going to get one heal out of it. Why bother, right? I can run whatever the hell I want now. Again, toolbox. Or or a flashlight to screw with the killer. Like, it's all about... I think it's all about the chase now. It's no longer about anything else. It's The killers are going to be running Floppy Butcher and uh, information perks. And survivors are probably going to have to run chase perks. I think we're in a chase meta, and that's pretty fun. So, I dig it. I dig the changes on both sides, like I said before. But, for now, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed what you witnessed, hook the like button, more the subscribe button, bing bong that bell, and until next time, I will see you in the fog. Good luck. God, it feels really good to say that again. It feels good to be back in DBD, and that's weird. That feels weird. But it feels good.